So how did you guys meet? We met when I was getting off of work. He pulled up, swerved over to the corner, popped out, walked in the beauty supply store, curved me like, bye girl. Like, didn't even say anything, but I was peeping him. What she didn't notice was, I noticed her from a mile away. So <laughs> I got out the car, you know, I had to put on my ditty bop, my swag, <laughs> walking right, and I, you know, and I just caught her attention. I'm a construction worker, mm -hmm. and it was rain, it was about to start raining, and I just say, fuck it, I'm leaving work. If I went in the left work, that day, mm. I never would have met her. Oh, wow. I never would have mm. met her, and it just would have, oh. you know. I, I, well, I, I, I don't was know. meant to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know if you guys remember MySpace. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was, I was throwing a little line. I was throwing lines out. <laughs> <laughs> I was throwing lines out. To <laughs> <different> <laughs> multiple girls. <girl. laughs> I'm the only one who <laughs> <laughs> She was just real, real beautiful when I saw her. And Aww. I was like, man, this, I, I, I got to see what's up with this. Remember how like, MySpace's old line was a place for friends? Yeah. So we'd be like, oh, we met through friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, too, because we actually met online as well. Really? Yeah. Awesome. We met on a match. Oh, okay. I was just trying it out. So I only had like the three-day membership thing to the expires. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> turns out, yeah, it turns out the last day, she hit me up. I was like, all right, this one looks interesting. So. We engaged in conversation, then she just disappeared. I My called. membership ended. Oh. Four years afterwards. Five years afterwards. Five. Five. I was on Facebook, okay. and randomly, her picture popped up, and I'm like, this looked like the same person. I hit her up, and we spoke from there. It took me a while to, like, actually break it down. <laughs> what he's not telling you is that he didn't tell me at first, so we spoke back and forth for like three weeks yeah. before you oh. told me. Because oh, really? he remembered me and I didn't remember him. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. Now, I'm not going to tell him what you told me after the... Oh, my gosh. He loves to I'm say not that. Tell him that. He loves to say that I said that I loved him the first oh, time. Like, I think I said something like, I could see myself really falling in love with you. And he just <laughs> swears that I was like, I love you. Like, he just... He told me she loved me on the first day. You are mad funny. But, I did. But, but in fairness, though, we knew each other three months, just the personality. Yeah, and it's then, true. Before then, it was even we physical, which was dope. So we had our first date just impromptu. I think I texted him or he texted me, and we linked up. Is that how it went? I text you. She is a very busy woman. So I told her that I'm coming to Harlem for some reason. Just lied and said, I'm coming out there. Hey, you want to meet up? While we was walking and talking, um, we see some African um, oh, the drum, drum players playing on the drum. Mm -hmm. So I just started dancing to the beat and... I walked and, in front of the drummers, started really getting it, dancing. You know, I think that's what won her over the moves, the little hip yeah. moves. <laughs> you know, okay, okay. Plus I was wearing sweatpants, so she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see by her leg, it's okay. Do you remember what your ladies were wearing on the first date? Yeah, I can remember. I think it was like a green coat or something. She was wearing high heels and uh, I think black jeans. I pull up and he's already standing in front of the restaurant and there's a huge puddle of like melted snow and I'm like, are you are you gonna help me out of the car? And he's just standing there like, <laughs> and then he goes, oh, oh, yes, yes. I was like struck, I was just looking at her. I was studying every detail about her, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, he had on some really baggy jeans. Mm -hmm. He had his blazer on, but he had, on top of it, he had a big like puffer coat on top of <laughs> like a puffy. Her, she really did transform my, my style. So when I, when I first met, I was real, I was DMX. Same here. Same here. That's so funny. Everything, her. The shirt, right. her. The pants, right. her. <laughs> her. So we had a really good first date, and I thought that there could be potential there. Um, I think I also thought that he was going to be a ladies' man, so I had to play like the whole long tail game. And it was a first, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely caught my interest. Yes. Yeah, so, so it made me pursue even harder. I knew that there was something there, I just didn't know what it was. Um, I did. No, I was really into Dave. Like, I really was. Yeah. He was so patient to just go back and forth and really get to know me without anything even being physical. I was, I really did feel like I was falling in love with him on the first date. Well, yeah, I knew that, uh, that Allie was, she was gonna be my wife. From the I, first date? Actually from the first date, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, you see how you could like go on a date with him and think where it was, the husband material. Like he's I really, mean, he's uh, such a great person. 
When he came to me with all the bravado and the, you know, confidence, I kind of thought he was a ladies' man. So I was kind of mm -hmm. worried. Did you think that we would be something? Yeah, I thought I thought yeah, we could definitely be something when he told me um, you got a 90-day rule, and I was like, okay, I'm with it. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll do it. It makes me so happy to see three men just mm -hmm. here, like, really holding their woman down, you know, and just really, like, uplifting because black men are demonized, black women are a lot of times ignored and not, you know, we have so much put on us. I'm not saying to not go outside the race because love is love, but there's a lot of beautiful black women out there that brothers need to start, you know what I mean, appreciating. When you have a, a power couple, I, I would say, like Michelle and Barack, mm -hmm. um, and the children see that, black love has to set that example with our children so where we can raise them the right way. I'm originally from the Caribbean. I'm from the island of Dominica, and her background is also a little bit of West Indian. Just find somebody you can connect with with that, and then still have a, a connection where they can understand you and love you for who you are. That's why I think like black love is something that should be cherished. You were mentioning something really important about how the media is portraying like black people right now in the world. I think it's very important that black love remains strong and it's seen in the media. So that's why you know I love me some Michelle and mm -hmm. President Obama. I could see a future with her until I die. And together, I know that we could um, start a strong foundation. No, nobody can break us up. No, no, no thought. No, no blame. <laughs> None of that. You know, because because I got her back and she got mine. That's what we need to hold on to because every other story is about us being killed. Exactly. And that's so real and it's happening and it's important for us to talk about it, but it's also important for us to have something that heals our spirit. And mm. the way to do that is through love, mm. you know? Yes, cheers to love. Cheers, cheers to love. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah.